Hello guys, my name is Luca and I'm back with some more Menemidan. It's been so long since I played this game. The last I remember from this game is that I killed off Fliss and it was a very very stupid mistake on my part. And speaking of mistakes, I have come to a cold hard realization that Julia's imminent death was also entirely my fault. And the reason why is because I... My dumbass, my dumbass here has underestimated the choices in this game, which is a nev which is never a smart thing to do. I like Until Dawn more than this game, I will admit, but then again, this game does something better than Until Dawn and that's the butterfly effect altogether. All these little wandering steps, everything matters. All of them, and I'm not kidding. The way I killed Julia is that I chose to go for the note and that made her bold. So when I didn't have control over her, then she drank the beer after she refused to decompress properly. And this taught me that every single decision will update their traits and those traits matter for when you're not controlling the characters. That will form their moral compass and yeah, I killed off Julia that way, I just doomed her. Now, I try to go back and save Fliss, but that didn't work because the save already updated itself and I couldn't go back. I mean, I didn't want to go back because it was like two hours of gameplay and my lazy ass just didn't feel like playing all that. And then again, it would just ruin the experience. The other reason is because now I have the opportunity to get a trophy for letting all the boys survive. So there's something the silver lining and I will cover all the trophies on this channel including the ones that I didn't show in video because of another one of my stupid mistakes but that's for another video anyway let's begin this video damn it's been a while since I used these headphones I mean earphones headphones are like you know the ones that go over the head I almost forgot to mention that now I am at the point where we escaped to the upper deck and now they're discussing what they saw. Now it's gonna be so weird while Fliss. So I'm playing as Alex now instead of Julia. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. You said it, sister. Just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy and, like, dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just, like, up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Uh, I just wanted to say that we didn't hear Conrad's hallucination because he wasn't there, because I let him escape in the previous playthrough. Uh, the only way that you would let him escape the only reason why you would do that is because you can get him to get with the coast guard ship to save you so that way if you break the distributor cap he can go back for you and you can all live happily ever after and you can also avoid being apprehended by the military i wouldn't hurt you you're just projecting i wouldn't hurt you i'm not gonna be a bitch oh, yeah. I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So Conrad is still crying so because of Liz. Sure that we can all agree on. Hmm, where's the gold? Is this a ghost ship? I don't know what he said. Hmm, let's say where's the gold? That gold should be around you, right? Anybody catch a glimpse of it? I'm starting to think that gold's about as real as a week full of Sundays. Okay. That still doesn't explain anything. Hmm. What happened on this ship or where is the crew? What happened? Because that implies what, what happened to the crew. What actually happened on this ship? The goddamn mystery box is what it is. It looked like the newspaper was from 1947. I found a logbook belonging to one of the crew. Sounds like the ship went through a real rager of a storm. This place is weird. Is this a ghost ship? This is the most insane thing I've ever asked. But 
Are we on a ghost ship? I guess that's one way to look at it. So according to this letter I found, the guards here were absolutely terrified of something on the ship. Actually, we found something that mentioned that. I guess it got so bad that they set up a watch to see if they could verify any of the supernatural claims, you know, but nothing turned out. Wait, up. why isn't Brad mentioning the letter he found about the Maturian gold? Where are the crew? Anyone figure out what happened to all the sailors? Did they catch a rescue boat or something? Good God, everything about this ship just screams tomb. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently, getting scared to death is an actual thing. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. It's actually true. More than we did before. That's up to We found this one surgeon or doctor, plan, folks. and all these six people pretty sure are in we seven. Get back onto the Duke from here. Fliss said we'd need the distributor cap. Yes. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. And that's a bad idea. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have them activate the power, but I'm gonna have them fumble the coordinates. Okay, so now I'm playing as Julia. In the theatrical cut, it was vice versa. I was talking as Julia, no but then I played as Alex. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Let me just retrace my steps and collect all the clues that I did in the previous playthrough. Ugh. What's with the this is nuts, nail polish? Maybe this is the ship that shot down our wrecked plane from the dive. Ew. I hate that color. And yes, they did shut down the plane. They did shoot down the plane because they were under Manchurian gold influence and they thought that they were attacked by paradactyls or something. I mean, that could have been the hallucination they were having, prompting them to attack the airplanes but you would think that the Maturian gold would have already dissipated in the open air such as this but apparently that wasn't a case Ugh, these are a mess I know that no when I was playing this place I went out for fresh air and she immediately stopped having hallucinations she even went back where Maturian gold was still there and she didn't have hallucinations she was clear, but for some reason, these guys weren't as fortunate. Maybe one way to look at it is because when you are in the open area, maybe, I mean, it was new back then. Back then it was new, but now uh, when it's so old, maybe it dissipates more easily. Maybe it's not as potent as it was back then. So maybe it didn't matter whether it was in the open air or not. No. Nah. Still looking around. Anyway, I guess that's all I could have found. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember something else. The note about the gas masks. Uh, what the fucking hell? And speaking of gas masks, I still cannot figure out why Brad just left it behind. And the spanner, too. Like, that's just stupid. He should have kept it with the mask and the spanner. I really don't know why he did that. Let's get up to deck. Hey! Help me out over here! I think this is our way up. The only way up. Give me a lift. Oh, what? Alex, you should be helping her up first. But wait, if he did, could she help him up too then? Maybe harder. You know what? I'm not gonna even bother with these... Uh, with these social norms. Let them have it the way they wanna have it. That's what I always say. Let's see if Alex has anything to say. And one thing I forgot to mention is that no one reacted to Fliss's death, except Brad and Conrad. Julia and Alex, well, we know that they didn't really give a shit about Fliss and her orders and rules and such, but they didn't say a word about her death. They didn't react to it at all. I don't know if developers intended for this to happen, but I don't know, it's just, it feels like a plot hole, 
like something's missing. Hey, over here. Might be able to get through here. Okay, girl, you got this. Come on. Open it. There you go. Um, is anyone gonna help with the door? Damn, Julia, you're a beast for holding that door. And you, gentlemen, you suck. Okay? Seriously. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is... Oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong button. I always press R1 instead of L1 for... Faster movement. And yeah, I already have this happened. Thank you. This looks like the place I was with Conrad. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Wait, what are you talking about? What place? Doesn't look like anything the place you were in with Conrad. What about this premonition? Have I seen this before? Yes, I've seen this before. And this, in this playthrough, I will prevent this from happening, and I know how. You'll see. Man, this is starting to feel like Silent Hill. Games where almost every door is locked, and is there just a background decoration? Alright, this mentions a storm. I know that much. I want to get all the clues I can. It says they got caught in a major storm. Final entry. What? Julia found a logbook with the name Aurang and then a word beginning with M. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is... I know about this. I spoiled this for myself. But I didn't see the actual scene, but I know that they will shoot you if they get the name of the ship, which is Aurang Medan. I'm not gonna give that to them. I'm not gonna give them anything. Like I said, I'm throwing the military bandwidth out the window. I do not want anything to do with them because I know that they're gonna screw us over. But I also know that if I want to get all the trophies and I want to show you all the scenes, I'm gonna have to go with it. This doesn't make sense. How could they be headed to San Francisco with a route like this? It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek. In the ocean. You can... Uh, apparently you can play hide and seek anywhere. Sounds like a fun idea. A little dangerous though, but hey. Dangerous is the fun. Huh. Blown way off course. Terrible cloud cover. They couldn't figure out where they ended up. Nope, nope. Oh my god. I think these were actually this guy's last words. These poor people. Yeah, everyone died that night. Everybody. Look over here. Nobody was left to live the tale. Except from the notes. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Here, let me try it. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hi. Uh, is anyone there? Hello? Whoa. Uh, I gotta keep my mouth shut. Oh, thank God. Okay, alright. We we're, uh... Please just help us. Please, just help us. We're in trouble out here.
We're on this old abandoned freighter. We're on this old abandoned freighter. That's all I got. Please, can anyone out there hear us? Please, please come in. But they failed to give any, any important information before the radio cut out. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. No, motherfucker! Wait, Trace updated. What is she, cunning? Maybe? Yo, guys, check it out. Whoa. Hey, take a look. Maybe there's something down there that can help us get the power back on. We need to get that radio working. One of us should wait here for a message. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go. Agreed. Obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. Okay, I don't have control over here. So, so what do you think? I think... Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it. So it's gonna be Brad and Julia. Hey, what? Julia, no. I'm going. I am going. That's it. Case closed. We don't have time for this. Come on. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. In the previous playthrough, it was... It was Alex and Julia who went down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I'm surprised it didn't end up injured after that. I'm Julia now. Okay. Oh, wait, she is injured. I forgot about the scratch, but it doesn't really matter. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We have to find the generator. We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Yes. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. If there's one thing I learned about Brad, hey. it's that his brain options are good for the conversation, but his heart options are better in the dangerous situations. Like with Fliss, I should have followed his gut more rather than his brain, his head, you know, his intuition, something like that. No, his heart is the intuition. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about now, but anyway, I should follow the heart of Brad in the dangerous situations and during the conversations I should just listen to his head. The sick bait, that's where Joe was. So I guess there was a fight or something? Dude named Charlie ended up in the brig. Ten days. That's quite a stint for a little fight. That's what I've been saying all along. So this is the brig, and the sick bay is a little further away. Someone named Joe was in sick bay. Yes. That arresting officer put him out of commission for quite a while. He punched him really hard. I wish I could actually you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? any other circumstance you know this place would be the coolest place to explore like like ever i'm gonna say no not at all says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck shut up yeah i would never think of exploring this place in real life maybe this was somebody's son from on board c-o-s-r what does that mean Let me see that. 
Suspected COSR is actually the effects of maturing gold. Oh wait, COSR, it means combat stress reaction. Okay then. Alright. But yeah, ever since I picked up that note, everything in the files was updated to reflect that everything was caused by the maturing gold. And now I'm playing with Julia, that is with Brad here. I wonder if I play as Julia and I'm the one calming and Julia's the one calming Junior down. I wonder if Brad will grab the gun on his own volition. I really hope that he does. Hey. Look at this. I picked the hard options with Brad mostly. So maybe he will. Place to find a generator, right? I gotta stay vigilant for the scene with, with, with what's his name? Uh, Olsen. Broken off here. You know the heartbeat QT. Just... Wait. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. Okay. Just be careful on your way down. Oh, that looked rough. But she's okay. Oh God! What's up? That it, 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 it was. It was. Wait, wait, did you see it? Um. Hello. Okay, so I so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian. Yes. Gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II, and. We know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here. Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know, paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal. We know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage. And for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking or thought they saw. Oh, God. Yes. Right, let's get That's going. exactly the, the conclusion I made when I started this video. The guys shot down their own rescue party because of the Maturian gold. And there's a bit of a plot inconsistency because apparently it took place like no time for the maturing goal to disperse within her, but for these guys it took a hell of a lot longer for right the maturing goal to disperse if it didn't kill them in the process. Like Joe and Charles will were killed. Where is the generator? That's it, there's gotta be it. I got it! Yes! This thing still works! After 70 yeah. years? That's it's amazing. No wonder the power keeps cutting out. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. There we go. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over. Please state your situation. Over. We need help now. There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over. Please state your coordinates. Over. Our location is 12 oh, degrees shit. 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Oh, work, damn it. I'm not getting the military ending, so I'm not worried. Oh, 
Also, I'm not surprised that the radio just died. It is old. It's ancient, actually. Look, there we go. The rebreather. This. Oh, hey. It's the rebreather. The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. We'll take it. Hell yeah, we should. Half the boat is submerged. I'm saving Junior. Oh my god, is that Junior with him? Oh wait, no. Holy shit! Olsen was alive in my previous playthrough, but this... Oh my god, he's taking it out on a dead corpse. This guy seriously, seriously, scarily seriously fucked up. Breathed in the mist directly, and that worsened the effects. Dude, get down. Don't let him see you. He's right there with us. Did he take the cap with him? And they're so lucky he didn't see them. Where was the cap? Oh. There's the file. I don't really care about that right now. Run. We gotta run now. Holy shit. Oh, I gotta stay focused for the QT now. It's gonna be tougher. Oh, there's a cap. He did take it. Problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? We made no deals, buddy. You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes, and who stays! Ah! He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. We can't risk moving it. Just need to watch and wait for an opening. Hide. Ah! The smug Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The Raiders are on. The gold is mine, and now I'm the one who gets to spy. Me with my big fucking armor. All right. That's done. He left us alone. Oh, 
crap, he found us. Totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. Let's not jinx ourselves yet. And oh shit. Okay. okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Please. We've got no problem with you. We just want to get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing... Then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got a say. Ah, not again! It's all good changing on me! What? What's changing? He's hallucinating. Stay away. Badly. Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it. Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's... Life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Brad, please tell me you're gonna do the right thing. Calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? I haven't breathed any weird mist. Please, I promise. Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it! Okay, alright, look, I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, Tell him about the rebreather. Maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Wait, 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 wait. We yes, have a tell about that. From our boat. What? We've been using it to get the mist out of us. You know, we could use it on you too. Okay? No, 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 no. You keep that thing away from me. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? Brad, please. It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. Yes, thank you. We need the breathing gear. Give it to him now. He's stable now. Yo, are you okay? <gasps> yes. He's okay now. He may be able to help us now. And we got the trophy for that. Good job. We got Conrad now. With Alex in the radio room. Wait by the radio. What? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Go ahead. I'm not going far. Just stay with the radio. Sure. I'm on it. <sighs> I don't know how that's gonna end. Wait, so this means that Alex will fight Olsen. Oh, 
Oh shit. Shit. Shit, he's right there. He didn't see him? What? Oh, Jesus Christ. I knew that he was gonna fight Olsen, but I didn't think it would be that soon. He's right there. Oh wait, that's the creator. I forgot to mention I saw him before. I'm on the edge, guys. This is the first time I'm seeing this, and I don't know how this is gonna end. How I'm gonna do? How I'm gonna do? Wait a minute. I'm Conrad now. Over here. This must have been what we just heard. He broke down the door. <laughs> Shit, he's right there. Whoa. What was that? Doesn't matter. We need Wait. that distributor cap. Was that a was here. that sledgehammer or a gunfire? I have no idea. Way. Smashed to pieces. Another hole. There he is. There he is. Do you think we can get over that? Sure. Oh crap. Some parkour action. Oh. You got oh. to be kidding me. Oh. There's something here. Look at all of that mist. Hammer. He's dying by himself. Dimitri and Gold finished him off. I don't think I'm up for this jump, man. I'll find another way around. Yeah, good idea. Gotta stay careful, though. Okay, there's some fresh air. That should clear out the maturing gold. If I had any in me at that point. Any files in here? I guess not. Okay. A file. Diplomatic immunity. And it's anonymous. Under blah blah blah, I claim my rights under the provisions and rights of sovereignty. Sovereignty. And as a foreign legal person, diplomatic immunity from all prosecution from color of law as prescribed by the US constitutional process. I agree that in return for the above surety, I will reveal knowledge gained from my employment at the water purification plant, and in good faith, I will not hold back information when questioned. I, blah blah blah, declare this page and legal work to be factual and true. Huh. Okay. So this guy must have known about the Maturian Gold, and all of the other illegal research. So 
That must be the list of confiscated items. Can I find anything else in here? Yeah, the Machine Gold really would tip the scale in warfare. I guess everything is fair in war and law. I mean love, not law. I misspelled that. How did I manage to misspell that? I have no idea. Oh. Can't believe I failed that. That was embarrassing. Here we go. What the? Alex was able to retrieve the security cap before the lift fell. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I totally forgot that I had no choice over that. Oh shit! Alex is hallucinating, but at least he got the distributor cap. Keep away from me, you maniac. Oh no, 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 no. You gotta Alex, you gotta listen to me. Please, just listen to me, okay? It's me. It's Conrad. Just give me the knife. Please don't kill yourself. It's me. It's Conrad. Alex, please. It's me. No. No. And there goes my trophy. Damn, this creator Scott. I'm never playing that again, ever. You got to be kidding me. Just when I thought that one thing may go right in this playthrough. One thing. One thing. And it's ruined. Just take the cap. It's not him. 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 No. No, it's not him. No. Oh man, you have got to be kidding me. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Seriously. I'm so freaking pissed with this game right now. In the last moment, he screwed me over. Well, Junior is here with us. So... I don't know if that matters. And now Julia's about to die. I'm seriously, seriously pissed off. Like, was it my fault? I don't know. Did I say the wrong thing as Conrad? Is that what got him killed? Man, I gotta play the okay. theatrical cut Guess again. It's see if it's working. I'm staying away from the theatrical cut. Get out of here. Let me just finish this playthrough already.
Gucci drought, man. It's God. What a horrible way to go. Yes. Especially for someone like Fliss. I mean, Jesus. Water was her life. It shouldn't have been her death, you know. He was an asshole. Was. Who, Olson? Honey meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. Wait, who's the asshole then? It's a big old puppy dog. Just trying to make everyone laugh. Conrad or Olson, I'm confused. But yeah, I agree. Conrad should not have died. Nor Fliss. And that's all on me. Those two deaths are on me. I don't know about Conrad's death, but... Yeah, I feel bad. Whoa, why are they showing us his corpse now? I get that he's dead. You don't have to rub it in my face, dude. Yeah, I also know Fliss is dead. I want to skip the credits. Wait, I can't skip the credits. Damn it. Alright, what do you have to say? That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Not a bad effort. Some lived, some died. Only two survived in my playthrough. Yeah, you gotta rub it in my face, don't you? It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. Julia's death, yep. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Also, I know that Lil Hope will also be narrated by this guy. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. Also, I don't know when Little Hope Lisa, is coming. They said summer again. 2020, but that's all I know. It's inevitable. Yep. Oh, it's inevitable to see your face again. Oh, there she is. Whoa. Damn. Hey, hey, are you okay? In this situation... I'm afraid that whoever suffers from bands is just dead. I don't think you can help them. There's like some procedure for decompression, but you have got to be like shit, near shit. that station or Sick something. Sickness. We came up too fast. Oh shit! Oh, this sucks. Come on, come on, come on, Julia. Bearing updated. Later on, Julia died from the bands. Yeah, that's what you get for being dumb. With my help. Come on. This sucks. Come on. What a horrible way to end this expedition. Well, with this excruciatingly bad ending I got, I'm gonna end this episode right here and now. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time in the theatrical cut. Like I said, I'm not ever going near this theatrical cut again, because I know that people are going to die inevitably, because if it is my choice, then they screw me over. If it's not my choice, I get screwed up even more. So anyway, that's it, and goodbye.